Okay, hello guys. Welcome to another video. No, this is not the uh, Court of Mists and Fury. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do plan on getting to it soon, just things have come up. And I decided to revisit A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because the TV show is coming out in a couple weeks now. And I want to revisit the books before the show comes out because I do plan on watching it since it's been announced that it's coming out on Netflix. I'm so excited. So I want to revisit all of the books and I'm going to try to get through them in one day. Now, if you don't know, I'm a very slow reader, so it takes me a while to get through a singular book, but because these aren't super big, I'm hoping I can get through it. Maybe not in one sitting, but at least one day. It is a little after one right now. Um, I probably should have started this sooner, but oh well, it's too late to go back. I have my drink, I have my snack, I am ready. and. Well, of course we're going with A Girl's Guide to Murder first, the first book. I'm just going to read them in the order. I know technically Killjoy is first, but this was the last book to uh, get published in this series. So I'm just reading them in the order that they all came out. So of course, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is the first book I'm reading. And then I will read Good Girl Bad Blood, and then As Good as Dead, and of course Killjoy right after that. So, I'm so excited. Um, I will keep you guys updated. I will share my thoughts going through this at the end of each book. I'll probably share my thoughts on that as well. Um, I already have read all of these, um, so I already know what to expect. These are just my favorites, and I love them so much. Holly Jackson just has a way with murder mysteries. Uh, I finished The Reappearance of Rachel Price yesterday and it was so good so i'm kind of on a holly jackson kick right now and what better way to go with a good girl's guide to murder i don't think that made sense but <laughs> wish me luck so i may or may not have taken a little nap uh it's already 3 30 a little after 3 30 actually and i'm only seven chapters in yeah, so this challenge might be harder than I thought, and I'm most likely going to be pulling an all-nighter tonight because, as determined as I am, I'm not giving up on this. I am not giving up. I am going to read as many of these books as I can. So bad at this. It's 8.40, and I'm on chapter 15. The reason why... It is taking me a while is because I got my nails done and then I did a workout and then I got dinner ready and had a little bit of dessert but like it's fine. Um, I was reading while I was eating so that did bump me up a little bit but I still have a long way to go. I'm on page 137 and there's almost 400 pages it's it was like 387 i think so i'm definitely going to be pulling an all-nighter for this one <laughs> 24 chapters in right now page 214 i'm a little over halfway i think i have to call it quits for tonight i'm going to continue tomorrow i know i said i was going to try to read it in a full day but let's be honest, starting at 1 p.m. is not a full day. So I'm going to continue tomorrow. I'm going to finish this book tomorrow and then start Good Girl Bad Blood immediately after. And I'm going to be honest, this might take a couple days to do, but I'm going to do it. I'm not going to just give up because I failed my initial challenge. I, I want to see how long it takes me to get through this whole series. So, whether it takes two days, three days, four days, I'm, I'm going to finish this. But yeah, so day one, halfway through the first book, hopefully I have better luck uh, tomorrow for day two. Yeah, so I will keep you guys updated, 
and I'll probably let you know when I finish this one. I feel like that's going to be the next update when I finish this book. Most likely going to be sometime tomorrow. <laughs> finally, finally finished. It is six on the dot. It's when I finished this book. It took me too long to finish it, but I finished it. I still love it. It's still near and dear. It just made me more excited for the uh, TV show coming out. And now, onto the, I, I do want to say, I low-key forgot about the dog. Like, I, f I forgot that the dog, you know, doesn't make it to the end. So when I got to that part, um, everything kind of came back. So, yeah, very sad. And you know what? If they don't put that in the TV show, I'm going to be a little disappointed. You put us through the pain in the book, but... Are you gonna put us through the pain in the TV show? I, I hope so. Stick. I really hope they stick to the book. Like, as best as they can. Like, I'm really hoping. Anyway. On to the next book. Uh, Good Girl, Bad Blood. That's the next book. And I might take a little break. Kind of go through the footage that I already have. Edit a little bit. Get some dinner. And then I'll start reading, but I will start that book tonight. So yeah, okay, I'll let you guys know what time I start reading Good Girl, Bad Blood. So sorry guys, I did not film when I started reading Good Girl, Bad Blood last night. Uh, I was hanging out with my boyfriend and just kind of got distracted, but I think I started reading about 10, 30, 11. I didn't read much though. Um, I am on, I've been reading today, I'm only on chapter 9 right now, and it is, oh, like, 2.30, so, very slow, but I have made the decision that I am just going to see how long it takes me to read the books. I know I said this, um, yesterday, I believe, on how... Since I failed, I'm just going to see how many days it takes me to read. And I am on the second book. I've got one more book to go and then the novella after this one. I'm going to see how far I can get today. This is day three, technically. Um, day two, I finished The Good Girl's Guide to Murder and started Good Girl About Blood. And then day three, I'm probably just going to read Good Girl About Blood maybe hopefully I can start as good as dead but I might have to save that one for tomorrow but we'll see I might who knows I might be able to get through this book easier than uh the last one I don't know we'll see but yeah this is your update <laughs> guys it's been like four days since I last updated you I'm still on good girl bad blood chapter 37 so I'm getting through I'm almost done hopefully I can finish today um I'm just gonna be honest I haven't really had much energy to read lately I'm I'm not really sure why I think I've just been putting a lot of pressure on myself to like get this done and it's just kind of making me not want to and so I just took two days off to just relax, do what I want, and I didn't touch the book. I did start reading again last night. Um, last night I got to chapter 25 and then I quit. And so I've been reading today. It's been a lot easier for me to read. I've been in like, I guess a better mood about reading. So I am continuing. I'm not giving up. Sure, I had like a rough patch with this book. But, you know, I, it's nothing against this book. I think I just put too much pressure on myself to get this done and finish it. Um, so I just kind of sabotaged myself, I guess. So I'm back taking it easy. <laughs> I'm not going to push myself too hard. We're just seeing how long it takes me to get through the series now. Um, but I am almost done with the second book and I've only got one more book and a novella to go so I can I can probably do this within a week by next week 
I'll probably have it all done. So, trying to give myself leeway and enough time so I'm not stressing out over it. So, yeah. I will update you guys whenever I finish. Oh, it's also a little after one right now. So, I will give you guys the time whenever I finish. <laughs> It is 1 p.m. the next day, and I just finished. Um, yesterday was Father's Day, so I kind of had to do some stuff after my last update, you know, celebrate and stuff. So I didn't have time to finish the last two chapters, but I just finished. And, oh my gosh, like, I'm so glad I'm rereading these to refresh my memory, because so much that like happened in these books I don't remember like the um like the last chapter like Pip sitting and like talking with Jamie and them having like their little like heart to heart moment that was so sweet and then like I just I forgot how traumatic it was for Pip to watch Stanley die um like it was just and I feel like Holly wrote wrote it out, like, really well. Like, she did such a good job writing, like, the trauma of everything that just happened. Because watching someone die like that is very traumatic. And you're not going to be okay. <laughs> you're not going to be okay after that. Like, that. Oh, wow. So, yeah. On to as good as dead. <laughs> so, it's officially been a week since I started this challenge. Don't know why I thought I could get it all done in a day, but I started. I'm one chapter in so far, as good as dead. I'm just gonna see how much I can read today without overdoing it, and yeah, I will keep you guys updated. <laughs> okay, so it has been a couple days since the last update. I picked this book up again today. I was able to read. Got a lot of stuff done, actually, and then I just chilled, read. The reason why it's taking me so long is because I've kind of started to burn myself out when it comes to reading, and I didn't want that. I enjoy reading. I want to keep reading because it's something I enjoy. I don't want to feel like I'm forcing myself to read so I just kind of took a step back um just you know give myself time to like relax not worry about reading and just kind of like forget about it for a minute um but today I was able to pick it back up and actually enjoy it for the first time in a while um it's been like I think like at least six days uh since I've genuinely enjoyed reading and honestly it made me sad and it kind of put me in a bad headspace so the last like three days I've just been in my bed and just did absolutely nothing um so today you know I cleaned up my room did went grocery shopping I stayed productive and I actually read a good chunk um I'm 20 yeah 22 chapters in right now um before this I was at chapter 13 and I have been going at it um and I've been enjoying it and it just it feels so good to read because you enjoy it not because you feel forced to and I'm just I'm glad that it was just a little small slump and nothing too big. I just had to step away for a few days and I was able to come right back and enjoy it. I do, it's late right now, but I don't really want to go to bed. I kind of want to continue and it feels so great to say that I want to continue to read because for the past few days I haven't been wanting to even look at this book because I just didn't want to read because I felt... I don't know I just I put so much pressure on myself to read and it definitely wasn't healthy and it wasn't good um so I just I needed that break and because of this break I'm not finishing this book before um before Monday comes um so 
this whole video is definitely going to be uploaded after I've already posted my reviews. So if you haven't seen any of the reviews I did on these books, you should totally check it out after this video and give me a like and a comment. And speaking of comments, I at coincidentally was getting ready to upload videos tonight. Uh, and I saw that some people were commenting on my videos and they were very, very sweet. And it just, it made me so happy. And it, like, it, it helps knowing that people like what I'm putting out. Um, you, even if it's just one person enjoying my videos, it just makes me so happy that someone likes watching about someone rant about a book for 20 minutes <laughs> it just it makes me so happy and i really enjoy it and i just wanted to like put this in to say thank you so much for commenting liking subscribing and doing all of that it it really really means so much and it makes me so happy and i honestly almost teared up reading those because they were so sweet so thank you guys so much and you know what that that gave me what I needed to like keep pushing and keep going so I'm gonna keep reading and I will I'm at like eight chapters before I reach part two of this book this book is in three parts so I might update you for each part like when I finish part one or I'll just give you the update when I finish the book I don't know we'll, we'll see what I decide but again, I just want to say thank you guys so much because that just, that, that made my night and it just means so much seeing positive feedback. So thank you guys. Just read their, I guess their breakup, Pip and Robbie's breakup scene. And I cried. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. Um, but yeah, I cried. It was so much more heartbreaking than I remembered. Um... I just, like, I felt like I was being broken up with, and I have one chapter left, I'm almost done, I'm going to finish it today without a doubt, um, I just, I just had to update cause that scene broke my heart, and I just, I did not remember it being that heartbreaking, it is, 10 minutes later, I just finished it. I got to the end. I wanna cry. I wanna lay in bed and cry and just not get up. Um, but I still have the novella to read, so I'm going to do that. It's 112 pages, so should be easy. There's only 12 chapters. Should, should be pretty easy, but we're almost done. It's taken two weeks, which is far too long but again I've explained earlier what went on so again my apologies but at least it's here <laughs> it is the next day and I'm going to start reading Killjoy there's 12 chapters and it's 112 pages so really small I'm going to get through it probably in one sitting um from what I remember this is my least favorite just because there's not suspense it's just it's very fun and lighthearted, and I like my mysteries to be suspenseful and not lighthearted. but nonetheless <laughs> I'm going to read this and get through it and yeah it is 11 40 right now I will let you know what time I finish and then this whole video will finally be over it's been two weeks a little over two weeks now and I started this very naive, thinking I could finish it in one day. <laughs> it's been two weeks. So yeah, that's how long it takes me to read the whole Google's Guide to Murder series. So yeah, I will see you guys when this is done. It's 3 p.m. and I just finished. I did have to take a couple breaks to like do some stuff, but other than that, I pretty much sat, sat down and read. Um... It was, it was more fun than I remembered, um, still not my favorite book of the series, but it wasn't bad, um, 
I also think that it's really nice to have if you're not ready to leave the universe. Um, I also think that like if you want to read the books in order, I feel like this is a good book to like start it off with because it quite literally starts off the first book. Like, like the ending is like Pip deciding her project and then you go into the first book. I don't know, I just think it's nice. It's nice and cute and simple and sweet and I do like it. It's just, again, like I said earlier, there's really no stakes at risk. It's just simple and clean, but it was fun and it was nice having Pip not traumatized um, or having PTSD as she does in the later books. Um, so it was nice having the old Pip back and yeah, I'm finished with the series uh and next week's video is going to finally be me starting um a court of mist and fury um so yeah i will be starting my reading blog on that next week i'm not gonna delay it anymore i promise i promise i don't know why i did that but like yeah so give me a like comment down below your favorite book of the series. I think mine is as good as Dead. It's just so, it's just so good. It's, I just love it so much. I love, I love how dark it is, but also I love how everything falls into place so easily and it all just makes sense. I don't know, I feel like it's easier to like follow along with it. Again, I also love the first book, but I don't know. It's just, that last book just, it's just got it's got flavor i guess it's got what you need so give me a like comment and i will see you guys next week <laughs> bye